while Marianne Bad has been predominantly seen in the formalist terms that I have just been talking about, in other words, as a film which is purely concerned with form and with no reference to the outside world, other interpretations are possible. The first one is that the film could be seen as a fable for the nuclear age. This is indeed how a number of critics saw it at the time. Like the films of Antonioni, of Bergman, of Goddard to some extent, Marian Bad uh, belongs to that um, trend in early 60s cinema, which, uh, ref while Marian Bad has been predominantly seen in the formalist terms that I have just been talking about, in other words, as a film which is purely concerned with form and with no reference to the outside world, other interpretations are possible. The first one is that the film could be seen as a fable for the nuclear age. This is indeed how a number of critics saw it at the time. Like the films of Antonioni, of Bergman, of Goddard to some extent, Marianne Bad uh, belongs to that um, trend in early 60s cinema, which uh, reflects in very oblique and formalist terms on uh, the anxieties of the modernist age, and in particular, the anxieties caused by the age of the nuclear bomb. And this is read in the film in terms of the, uh, the kind of ghostly figures, the way in which the characters seem to be frozen in a kind of eternal afterlife. A second type of interpretation for Marian Bad, which goes beyond the formal aspect of the film, is one that has to do with love, in inverted commas, or perhaps more specifically sexuality. At the time, uh, a number of people saw the film uh, as the story of persuasion, as a story about the uncertainties of love in the way the character of X tries to convince A that they had um, an affair in the previous year in Marienbad. Now, more recently, some uh, feminist scholars have looked closely at the text and have in particular unearthed the significance of the play within the film, which uh, had tended to be um, ignored in previous accounts. Now, the play that we see um, a, a poster for in Marienbad, and also which we actually see characters attending and we also see actors on stage, is a play called Rosmer, which is a shortened version of the name of a play by Ibsen. And in that play, very interestingly, although this is not something that is immediately obvious when, wa when watching the film, in that play, two characters, a man and a woman, um, have conflicting views of what happened in the past. And the past has to do with repressed sexuality and even the intimation of sexual violence, of rape. Now, it is then possible to see Marianne Bad in relation to this interpretation, that um, in this particular reading, uh, the, if, we, if we accept this interpretation, uh, the reluctance of A to, um, to go along with X interpretation could be seen as a, a kind of denial, something that comes out of repression of a traumatic event, which could or could, could be uh, rape or could be some kind of sexual violence. And there is a sense that rather than refusing his interpretation, she's actually resisting it, uh, which, which gives credence to this particular interpretation. It, so in this interpretation, um, A's reluctance to accept X's version of events, um, her sudden flashes of memory, her obvious distress, especially as she goes near the bedroom in which supposedly the affair took place, therefore speaks of uh, the, 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 the reluctance to accept the resistance to something that was especially traumatic. And the story of persuasion that X uses towards A then could be seen as a way of talking about the trauma uh, in a way, and yet at the same time the, the fact that the film cannot openly acknowledge that trauma. Finally, a third layer of interpretation is that the film, far from being the kind of cold intellectual game that many people saw it as being, as reflected in the games played by the characters in the film, um, it is actually a film that is awash with emotion. And interestingly, um, at the time, a number of 
uh, critics uh, wrote that one should not try and interpret the film. One should be swept along uh, by the emotion of the film. And uh, more recently, uh, Gilles Deleuze himself has argued that Marianne Bad is, is a film in which uh, Alain René goes beyond character towards feelings and emotions. In the end, the impossibility of fixing the meaning of Marianne Bad may be what it's all about. Marianne Bad, like a number of art films of the early 60s, is a film that cultivates mystery. And in that sense, it's a supreme example of that kind of filmmaking, like the films of Buñuel or Antonioni of the period. But what is very tangible in the film and unarguable, and which we haven't said anything about so far, is the mise en scène, is the beauty of the images Marianne Bad is absolutely remarkable for its use of black and white photography in, in what has become the kind of trademark of René's mise en scène, namely long, gliding, smooth tracking shots. The film opens uh, in an absolutely um, stupefying way with a very, very long tracking shot along the corridors and the ceilings of Marianne Bad. And uh, it's that, that photography, the glamour of that black and white photography, which in a way has continued to make the film appear cool in inverted commas uh, and so cool that um, even um, pop videos like that for Blur song to the end have pastiched Marianne Bad. It's, it's a kind of filmmaking which has remained uh, fashionable even today. I think uh, Marianne Bad, um, what one could say, is the perfect example of a, of a landmark classic film because it's both. It's very much a film of its time, as as we've discussed in a number of ways. Whether it's about the nuclear age, whether it's about the formalism and the attempt to recreate um, the the literary experimentation of the new ro nouveau roman, the new novel, in film, but at the same time, it's also um, universal and eternal, and and it and it manages. It's sort of timeless in 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 other ways, and it's that timelessness that has meant that it, we can still uh, watch it today. And um, if at the time critics were saying, well, don't try and resist the film, don't try and look for interpretation, just be swept along, then watch Marianne Bad and be swept along. <laughs>